This lecture will illustrate the concept of validity with a couple of arguments, one of which I call the kangaroo argument, and the other is called the penguin argument. So we'll start by considering the following pair of arguments. All kangaroos can fly. Karin is a kangaroo. Therefore, Karin can fly. This is the kangaroo argument. This argument is valid. Recall the definition of validity. An argument is valid if, given that all the premises are true, then the conclusion must also be true. So we can see that this fits the definition of validity. If all the premises are true, so if it was true that all kangaroos could fly, and if it was true that I was a kangaroo, then it would have to be true that I could fly, which would be awesome. However, this argument is not sound, because all of the premises are false. In this world, kangaroos cannot fly. And sadly, I am not a kangaroo. So, we can see that this argument this argument shows that it's possible to have all false premises and still be a valid argument. So it has all false premises and it happens to have also a false conclusion. In the, in the penguin argument coming up, I will show an argument where all the premises are false but the conclusion is true, which is very strange. But first, I want to compare this with an inductive argument that is very similar. So what if the argument was 90% of kangaroos can fly? Karin is a kangaroo. Therefore, Karin can fly. So this is a strong argument. If 90% of kangaroos could fly, and if I was a kangaroo, then it would be a pretty good bet that I could fly. It's possible that I might not be able to. I might be one of that sad 10% that can't fly. But it's more likely than not that I can fly. So it's strong, but it's not cogent for the same reasons as the original kangaroo argument was not sound. Because it is not true that 90% of kangaroos can fly. 0% of kangaroos can fly. And sadly, it is still not true that I am a kangaroo. So you should memorize this kangaroo argument because it's going to come up over and over again. In fact, I would claim that about 97% of all the questions about validity can be answered just by thinking about kangaroos, by thinking about the kangaroo argument. And those that can't can often be answered by thinking about the penguin argument. So the penguin argument goes like this. Everything that flies is a bird. Penguins can fly. Therefore, penguins are birds. So it is not true that everything that flies is a bird. Please don't confuse this with the statement, all birds can fly. That's not what it's saying, which is also false. But this is saying, if you see any flying thing in the air, it's a bird. And then it claims that penguins can fly, which they can't. Um, but if there was a world in which everything that flies was a bird, so there were no airplanes, no bugs, no kangaroos with jetpacks, nothing. Everything that flew was a bird. And if in this world penguins could fly, then it would have to be the case that penguins are birds because the only things that fly are birds. So we can see that this argument is also valid, but it's not sound either. Both of the premises are false, but the conclusion is true. It just doesn't have to be true based on the truth of the premises. Uh, you know, in other words, it's not true because the premises are true. It's true because of some other contingent fact about the world, namely that penguins are birds. So that's, that's a little weird, a little something to wrap your head around. Um, so spend some time thinking about that, those examples and the concept of validity.